Okay, this is an attempt here to show the how this uh, new TPMS3 from Snap-on works. Okay, you see the power, the the keypad here. We got an on-off switch here, the test switch here, directional arrows here, and then just a yes and a no here. So we'll start here. What we're going to do is retrain the tires on this uh, 2010 Subaru Outback, and hopefully this all works out good. First thing we do here is we turn the thing on. I don't know how well the screen's going to show up here because it, for whatever reason the camera picks up all kinds of glare. So the first menu we see here is uh, initial sensor test. So we want to press the down button here and we'll go to reset system and then we'll press yes. Then we come up to Subaru because we were just trying this out here to make sure it's going to work great. We press yes on Subaru and we have an outback so we'll scroll through right there till we have the Outback and this is a 2010 so we'll go down there and press the yes button and then the first screen says uh, inflate all tires read all sensors and then connect it to the OBD2 port so we'll go over here and we'll start by pressing the yes and it'll ask for the sensor reading from the left front tires so then we just press the uh, test button there and we can see here it's uh, attempting to read the tire and it says left front tire stored and there's the information then we go to the right front tire press the yes button and that'll change it over to reading the right front tire we'll press the test button again and we can see here she's okay we got the right front tire stored in there and then we see our tire pressure and other information. Press the yes button again. And we go to right rear tire. Hold it up next to the valve stem. And, and we got the right rear tire stored. We'll press yes one more time. And we'll go get the data from the left rear tire. Press the yes button, or press the test button rather. And there we go, we got the left rear tire stored. And it also tells you the uh, ID number of the sensor. Again, the screen's kind of hard to tell, hard to read with the camera, but you kind of get the idea. The backlight changes on and off, so it's kind of hard to tell. Then we'll take our OBD port right here. We'll plug it into the bottom right down there, and it says OBD2 module connected. And then it asks us if we want to relearn or abort, and we want to relearn. So we'll press the yes button. And then it says connect OBD module, turn ignition on. So we'll turn the ignition on. And then press the yes button one more time here. And there we go. The su successful transfer of the information into the tire pressure monitor module in the uh, PCM or in the vehicle. Again, it's very difficult here to read the screen because the backlight changes, but as you can see, it says transfer okay, verify okay, successful transfer. And that's all you have to do. Now, if you had put a new tire pressure sensor in one of the tires, even if you just change one sensor, you should re you read them all. Get this will store the information. If you want to go back and review the information, you can still do that. Plug it into the car. Follow the prompts on the screen, and that's all it takes. It's a lot faster way of doing it than entering the numbers through your scanner. And it's so far every vehicle. This is the method used probably by, more by the Japanese manufacturers and uh, American car makers. Here's the... Uh, OBD port that we plug into the uh, plug in same place we plug the scanner in so I guess that's about it hopefully this video works out okay